Time to play Family Feud. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy B here with you once again for another edition of the Family Feud right here at MVP Productions. Glad you could join me here once again. I haven't touched this one in a while because I felt like the Family Feud was part of the 2010 series, which if you haven't seen that one, check it out here on the channel. But I figured because I still enjoy this game, even though I suck at it horribly sometimes, it's going to help me practice and play for this game, because these games came out similar at the same time. So we're going to get back to it and add this back into our Mystery Monday rotation here. So try to play along with me. Let's see if we can win ourselves some money and get back to our fast one. All right, let's get to it. Give our player a warm welcome. How to beat the average Thank score you. of some of our best players. Let's play The Family Feud. There it is. All right, round number one. We surveyed 100 people. The top seven answers are on the board. Here we go. All right, first one of the day. Name an animal that has a long tongue. Well... That's one of the animals that has one of the world's longest tongues. How about a giraffe? Survey says... I'm mad that's only number six. Yes, way to go. There are still more up there. Okay, um, what about a... What about a lizard? I like that answer. Is it there? Okay. Good job, you got one. What else? Um, what about a frog? Frogs Good answer. Let's take a look. Away. There are still more up there. Okay. Um. Elephant? Let's take a look. Uh, oh, not there. Okay, it's a strike. You have another shot at it. Um. Dogs can have a long tongue. How about a dog? Survey says. Okay. Yes, way to go. What else? Still mad I haven't got number one yet. Um, animal has a long tongue. I guess frog would be considered a toad. Um, hmm, what about... You can do it! What about a lion? Survey says... Oh. Too bad, it's not up there. That's two strikes. Let's see if you can get one this time. Some of y'all probably screaming at me like, It's this! Well, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I wish you were here now, it'd help me. But, um... The only thing I can come up with is a toad. I mean, a frog's not up there. Maybe toad might be. Got that answer. Try again. Okay. Counts as frog. Um... Come on, you can do it. How about a cat? Survey says... Uh, All right. That's uh, strike number three. Stumped. Okay, what did you All miss? All right, what, what was I missing? Number one. Number one answer. Oh, yes. The beloved Let's see number eater. three. Haven't thought about that now. And we see four, please. Not necessarily that long, but I can understand that. And, of course, cow tongue. Cow tongue is ridiculous. Let's see who's ahead. All right, after the first one, still time to I'm pull behind by a little bit. Let's look at that. Let's go to round two. We surveyed 100 people. The top six answers are on the board. Here's the question. All right, name something you can pass. Um, pass a car. I like that answer. I hope it's up there. That's the way. Go again. You can pass a test. Survey says. There you go, number one answer. Good answer. There's still now. more up there. You can pass your turn, and again... Let's take a look. Oh, oh, that's not one of our top answers. That's a strike. You have another shot at it. You can pass the board, like... I like that answer. Chess. I hope it's up there. Oh, oh. strike two. Not board, Let's it's try freaking again. bar. Um... There's a bar. Um... Um... Can pass. Uh, 
You can pass food. Survey says... Ah, gosh, that's your food spot. Okay, let's see what mm-hmm. you missed. What was it? Show us two. two. A ball. Yeah. Three, let's see it. I was getting to the sports, sir. Uh, I was thinking, like, food, five, like, seasoning, but I was specifically looking for, like, salt. Pass a note. Come and on, finally. six. Let's see it. Yes. Yeah, I could have got all those, but Let's completely those messed scores. up. Where are we staying? That's okay. You can still A little bit up. further behind. I just need to do well on these next two. We've got this. Let's go to round three. Time for round three. It's double points, folks. Yep. Important we hearts. surveyed 100 people. The top five answers are on the board. Okay. Here's what we asked them. All right. Name something people eat with chili. Um, cheese. Show me. Yes, way to go. Let's get another one. Uh, crackers. Survey says... There it is. Okay, That's important it's there. One. There are still more up there. Um, salad. Show me. That didn't make the survey. Sorry. I'll have to give you a strike. Keep trying. Um, uh, french fries. I hope it's you up put there. Put chili on it. Let's see. No chili nope. cheese fries? It's not I'm mad at That's that. That's two strikes. You get another chance. Um, how about... Uh, they're not there. How about a hamburger? Survey says... Oh, it's like three. Okay. Too bad. Okay. All legitimately good miss? answers here. Number three. What did I miss? Three. Oh, you got no Show hamburgers, four, but they got please. hot dogs. I messed. That's messed up. Chips, okay. Five, let's see it. And five, bread. All right. Reasonable answers again. Just let's see who's them ahead. All. Come on. Only if I'm by a little bit. That. If I can get most of the answers in this one, I can play some fast money. So let's see what happens. It's round number four. Yet. You can still take it. Let's play round four. We're playing for triple points. All right. This is the point. We surveyed 100 people. The top four answers are on the board. All right. Means Here I need to get go. at least three of these. Name an athlete you see in a lot of commercials. Um, rest in peace. Good Kobe answer. Bryant. Let's take a look. Uh, really? My lips. No. Okay, it's a strike. Well, you get another try at it. Wow. Shocked. Because this was around the time Kobe was a big star. How about... Um, how about LeBron James? Survey says... Uh, you bad. Really? That's your second strike. I wow. Do better than that. All right, I got one chance left. How about Good Michael answer. Jordan? Let's take a look. Oh my god. Good job. You got one. What a- I forgot this game is slightly older than I than I'm giving it credit for, so maybe Kobe and LeBron weren't playing at the time. So I'm like, all right. I gotta think Jordan's era. Athlete you see in a lot of commercials. Um, I got a good one. Uh, famous quarterback Joe Broadway, like Joe Montana. I hope it's up there. Please. Ah, gosh, that's your third strike. Okay, let's. Shaq would have been my next guess. Let's see number two. Tiger Woods. Yeah. Let's see number three. I'll give you that one. Yao Ming. Let's see number four. It's okay, this isn't that old. Wow, okay. Let's see who wins the whole thing. Is fast money in your future? Probably not. That was still a great game, though. Come back soon and play the Family Feud. Wow. And again, that's just because of the time period on that one. But you know what? I'll tell you what. We're not even pouring my old little TikTok here. We're not even ten minutes in this video yet. So I'll tell you what. Because we did so bad. Choose a player. We're going to run it back one more time and see if we can get that one back. So, did horrible the first time around. Let's, let's Here's play our catch player up and go going head to head against the average score of our expert players. Let's play the Family Feud. Here we go, round one once We again. surveyed 100 people. The top six answers are on the board. The question is... Question for this one. Name something you might need to make a smoothie. 
Well, um, how about ice Let's cream? Let's take a look. Yes, way to go. There's still more up there. Um, how about just ice in Show general? Me. There we go. Okay, it's there. Let's get another one. How about some fruit? Good answer. Let's take a look. There we go. That's the way. There's still more up there. Let's see what else goes on a smoothie. Um, a blender. Survey says. Okay, it's there. That's what basically else? a smoothie right there. Um, if needed, how about some I sugar? I like that answer. Is it there? No, okay. That didn't make the sugar, so strike one. That's okay. You have another shot at it. Um, if need be, a little water. Show me. No, okay. Too bad. It's not up there. Strike two. Well, you get another try at it. Um, ice fruit, ice cream, a blender. Uh, how about a knife to cut the fruit? Survey says knife. Nope. Okay. Strike three. Too bad. Okay. What did you miss? Five. Are you there? That was five. Oh yeah. No. Let's see number six. And six. Yeah. Okay. The lighter cream. I was on the right path it's in time the beginning, to check the just messed up. All right, so 82. Good six. work. You're ahead. I'm going to leave this time. I think we're doing good. Let's go on the round. We surveyed 100 people. The top six answers are on the board. Here we go. All right, this one is name something you'd hate to be without if you were climbing Mount Everest. Um, Jack. Survey says. That's the way. Let's get another one. Because it's really high up there. How about oxygen? I like that answer. I hope it's up there. There we go. Good job. You got one. What else? Uh, gloves? I hope it's up there. Let's see. Really? Nope. Sorry, it's not on the board. That's a strike. Let's see if you can get one this time. Um, uh, how about boots? Let's take a look. Uh, really? Not there. Okay. Careful now. You have two strikes on you. I know you can do better than that. Um, a coat, oxygen. Uh, how about climbing gear? I like that answer. Is it there? Really? That's uh, strike number three. Wow, rough Okay, round. let's see what mm -hmm. you missed. One, let's what see was it. one? Rope, okay. Show us two. I guess I need to be more specific. Food. Three, okay. let's see it. A pick. Come on, six. Let's and see six. it. Water. Well, food and water makes sense. All right. Let's look at those scores. So I probably fell behind there. There's still time I to pull this out. All right. Let's try round three. See so if we can double the points. Here. Okay, it's the third round. We're playing for double points. All right. We surveyed 100 people. The top five answers are on the board. Here's the question. Um, besides the turkey, name something you might put on a turkey sandwich. Um, how about cheese? I like that answer. I hope it's up there. Okay, it's there. Let's get another one. How about lettuce? Let's take a look. Yes, way to go. There's still more up there. Uh, how about tomato? I like that answer. Is it there? Okay. That's the way. What else? How about Survey mayonnaise? Says... There it is. Okay, it's there. Great, just get one more. And mustard. I hope it's up there. Let's see. Nailed it! That's a clean sheet. I, by the way, I put all that on my okay, turkey sandwich except for the tomatoes. I'm actually allergic Excellent. to Excellent. You got the lead. Fun fact. All right, I got a lead back. Let's see if we can't ma not mess it up here in the You're fourth in the lead. And final round. Let's play round four. It's the round where we triple the points. We surveyed 100 people. The top four answers are on the board. The question is: All right, if Santa Claus had to enter the witness protection program, name something he might do to disguise his appearance. I like that answer. That's because that's what he there? says: lose weight. There it is. Yes, way to go. Let's get another one. Um, shave his beard. Let's take a look. Yep. 
Okay, it's there. What else? Um. Change. Survey says. Wow. Shinaj clothes. That's the way. Let's get the. That's what happens word. when I type. I'm like, I'm typing it out in my head, and I'm like, nope, misspelled that horribly. All right, shave, lose weight, change clothes. Um. Santa Claus had to enter the witness protection program. Name something he might do to change his appearance. Um. Oh, dye his hair. Ooh, you're cutting it close. Good answer. Let's Dye's take hair. a look. Nailed it. Great. You got him on it. That's a winner. That's the final score. Final score. Want to pass money? Five eighty-two. Four forty-one. Let's and go play some fast money. money for twenty thousand bonus points. It's fast money. Nice. Two chances to get two hundred points and the big bonus. Can you do it? Again, the goal is to try to do this we'll in one try. Well, we'll see what happens. Let's have the clock. 60 seconds, please. Thank you. Get ready. Here we go. All right. Name an expression people often say that ends in the word up. How about what's up? Name something you see at a gas station. Gas pump. Okay. Name a musical instrument you couldn't fit into a suitcase. Tuba. Name something specific you'd wear to work that you'd probably never wear to bed. A tie. Good. Name a pest you don't want in your garden. Um. But a rabbit. Beautiful job. Okay, let's see how you do. I like my answer. Ask this question. First one was to name an expression people often say that ends in the word up. You said the classic. What's up? I say that to a lot of people. I say, how you doing? There's an also say, I also take the Keith Lee route, but I've been saying it longer than he has. Greetings and salutations. That's a personal favorite. Thank you, Charlotte's Web, for that from my childhood. Anyway, survey said. 41. We asked you. It's a good start. Next, I asked, uh, name something I see at a gas station. You answered? Hell, you know, gas pump. I mean, you got to have a gas pump there. Makes perfect sense. Survey said. I am mad at only seven there, just for the record. This was the question. All right, name a musical instrument that couldn't fit into a suitcase. And you said? Of course, tuba. Unless it's one of them tiny little itty bitty ones, which then again, I don't know if you can even play those, but they still won't fit in a suitcase. They're too wide. Survey said. One, okay. Question was? Name something specific you'd, you'd wear to work that you probably never wear to bed. You gave us? A tie. Well, that's only if you're not spending that special time with that certain loved one in the bedroom. Yeah. But that, that, uh, that's a whole different subject for a different time. Nonetheless, survey said. 24. We asked this question. And finally, name a pest I don't want in my garden. You said. A rabbit. Eating up all the carrots. Lettuce. $32 there for 124. Remember, Not a bad you need start. 200 points, but you get two tries. Are you ready to go again? Yep. All right, so I need 76. I will 76. ask you the same question. If you hear this sound, you've duplicated an answer, and you should try again. Right. 65 seconds, please. Okay. Here come the questions. Run it go. back. Here we go. Name an expression. People often say the words up. What's up? Um... Uh, going up, like an elevator. Name something you see at a gas station. Um, uh, a squeegee. Name me as a guy who can fit in a suitcase. How about a drum? Name something specific you wear to work that you probably never wear to bed. A suit. And finally, name a pest you on your garden. But a gopher. You got it! Did you beat fast money and get those 20,000 bonus points? Let's see. I got stumped on the gas one because I'm like, all right, if it's not the gas pump, what's the most common thing you'd see there? I'm like, I literally had to put myself in my car and went to the gas station. And I was like, all right, what do I see? Gas pump's obviously the one thing there. 
Uh, squeegees, so when you have to do your windshield. We asked we'll you. See. First one, name an expression that people often say that ends in the word up. You answered? Going up. Like in an elevator. Survey said. Ouch. And the top answer was? The one answer there was, what's up? That was up there. Nice work. At least said it. All this right. was the question. This one I'll probably get nothing on as well. Name something I'd see at a gas station. And you said? The old squeegee. Survey said. Here's the top answer. What was the number one answer? I'm mad that gas pump is with seven points is the number one answer. Wow. That's rough. The question was? That's a horrible question to put in fast money. Anyway, still need 76 at this point. Name of a musical instrument that couldn't fit in a suitcase. You gave us? A drum. Especially the big bass ones you can't fit in there. Survey said. 14. The number one answer was? Number one answer here. Piano. We asked true. this question. Very true. Uh, name something specific I wear to work that would probably never wear to bed. You said? A suit. And as long as I got my suit and tie, I'm going to leave it all on the floor tonight. Anyway, I'm going to stop there because my voice is crappy today. Survey said. Wow. Failed. The top answer was. Not a suit. I got tie, though. It's the number one answer there. So I only need, um, what, 52 points? No, 62 points. It's possible. We I doubt you. it. But it's possible. Name a pest you don't want in your garden. You answered? Gopher. Digging up everything. Hopefully it does. Hopefully gopher's worth 62 points because it would be amazing. Survey said. 17. Top answer? Let's see. Number it. one answer with rabbit? Yeah. That was up there. I'm mad Good. I got three of the number one answers and still well, didn't you get, get the, the bonus. But we'll multiply your score by five. All right. And here's your grand total. You just won another top score award. Yes. All right. 582 plus 775. Grand total for this episode. One thousand four hundred and seven dollars. The family feud. That is a new high score. Eh, it's gonna be better. I've done better personally, but that's not the way it worked out this time. But hopefully, I will do better on the next episode of Family Feud. But that's all the time we have for this one, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you like this series and want to see more of it, check out the entire Family Feud playlist here on the channel. And also check out the Family Feud uh, episodes in the 2010 live series we're doing right now on the channel. It's in the playlist as well. And if you haven't subscribed and want to see other great game shows where we have interactive, interactive content and get fast with it, Make sure you click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games. Come on down here at MVG Production. I'm going to reach my 1,000 subscriber goal. But in the meantime, it's wing time. Until the surveys come flying at us once again and I get completely stumped on some of the answers, I'm your host, Brady Scott, saying thanks for watching, and I will see you next time for more of the Family Feud. Until then, be kind to your families. Take care. Bye for now, folks.